Hi, my name is Roger Huja, and I'm going to take a few minutes and talk to you about doing a Windows 8 refresh on your computer. What that basically means is that Windows 8 is going to refresh the operating system. It'll keep any applications that were downloaded from the Windows 8 store, but um, any applications that you installed that were not from the App Store um, are not going to be restored. So let's get started. If you click on the Windows key on your keyboard, you'll get the Start menu. And then from there, if you move your mouse to the bottom right, um, you'll get the um, Settings menu and click on Settings there. Once you've clicked on Settings, you'll see this option here. And uh, we're going to click on Change PC Settings in the bottom right. When you click on that, it's going to take you to this page, which is PC Settings. And if you scroll down or just click on General, and then after that you want to scroll down and uh, you'll see refresh your PC without affecting your files and we want to click on that to get that started and then Windows 8 tells you what it's going to do here um, pretty much the same thing that I mentioned earlier and then you hit next and it's going to prepare and this is where things get a little complicated okay so I need to clarify something here um, this process that we're doing is part of Microsoft's Windows 8 refresh. Now, the, when, when you run through this process, if your computer came with any software such as Roxio or Nero or WinDVD or PowerDVD or any of these other pieces of software that come with a computer, um, that software is not going to be restored here. This process was created by Microsoft for their operating system only. Now, the manufacturers um, of the PC that provide that additional software, they're going to have their own recovery process. It's going to be similar in nature, and conceptually it's going to be the same. But the steps that I've outlined here are not identical. A and if you have a computer that has... Uh, that came with some of those other pieces of software, then you're going to want to use the manufacturer's recovery process as opposed to this recovery process so you don't lose those applications unless, of course, you don't care for um, what those applications were and you just want to get a clean install. So going forward from here, we're going to need a um, original Microsoft Windows 8 CD to be able to continue this process um, the manufacturers of the computers will usually provide their own recovery media for their own steps and that's not going to be um, something that will work in this particular process. So I went ahead and um, since I didn't want to delete anything on this computer I set up another computer and uh, installed Adobe Reader and Flash and a couple of other things and started the process there and I'm going to pick up um, with some snapshots from that, pic from that PC. So here uh, once I inserted the disk, it basically says ready to refresh your PC. Um, go ahead and hit refresh and continue. So then if you get this screen, it says preparing to refresh, refreshing your PC. Um, and you're going to go through all this. This is going to take a little bit of time, getting your devices ready. Um, then the Windows is getting ready. Then finally you get the welcome and you get the start menu. You'll notice it's a basic Windows 8 installation. There's nothing else here. Um, if we look at the desktop, I had put in a picture of a cat, um, and that picture is still there. And there's also a, a um, HTML file that says removed apps. And if you double click on that file, you're going to get a list of apps that were removed. In this case, the Adobe products that I had installed, the Air, the Flash Player, the Reader, as well as the um, Intel driver that I had installed for the graphics card. And that's basically it.